follow in motion that pursuant to the provisions of Article 145 and Article 151B and 2 of the Constitution and Standing Orders Number 64 and 65, the House resolves to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Borigadi Gashagwa, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, on the following grounds. One, violation of Articles 10, 2A, B, and C, Article 27, 4, Article 73, 1A, and, Article, and 2B, Article 75, 1C, Article 29, 2, of the Constitution, and Article 147, 1, as read together with Article 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. That His Excellency, the Deputy President, has persisted in utterances threatening to discriminate, exclude, and unlawfully deny sections of the people of Kenya and regions of the Republic of Kenya equal opportunities for public service appointments and allocation of public resources. Ground number two, gross violation of Articles 147.1 and 152.1 of the Constitution by undermining the President and the Cabinet and the effective discharge of national government's executive mandate. That is excellent. The Deputy President has made unilateral statements inconsistent with policy positions collectively adopted by the government and contradicted the President on critical matters of governance and the exercise of the president's function as a symbol of national unity. Three, gross violation of Articles 62, 10 a 174, 1861, 189 and the fourth schedule to the constitution by undermining devolution. That His Excellency the Deputy President interfered with the running of Nairobi City County Government by inciting citizens against lawful directives of the county government on the planning and relocation of markets and publicly disparaging the leadership of the county government and its decisions. Four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. That, His Excellency the Deputy President has undermined the institutional and decisional independence of a judge through public attacks on a judge of the High Court of Kenya and falsely threatening to file a petition for the removal of the judge of the said judge in a matter in which he was a party. Five, gross violation of Article 3.1 and Article 148.5a of the Constitution on the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance that His Excellency the Deputy President breached his oath of office and allegiance on account of the utterances and actions attributed to the Deputy President under Grounds 1, 2, and 3. Six, serious to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under Sections 13.1 and 62 of the National Coercion and Integration Act that His Excellency the Deputy President has persistently made inflammatory, reckless, rightful public utterances over the last two years in contravention of the law. Seven, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed gross economic crimes under sections 45 46, 47A3, and 48.1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act and Sections 2, 3, 4, and 7 of the Process of Crime and, and Money Laundering Act. That His Excellency the Deputy President has committed gross economic crimes, namely conflict of interest, abuse of office, and conspiracy to commit crimes under sections, under the sections highlighted by in, 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 inexplic inexplicably amassing property estimated at Kenya shillings 5.2 billion that is incompatible with his non-legitimate income 
and by trading with the office of the deputy president through proxies. Eight, serious reasons for His Excellency the deputy president has committed crimes by continuously misleading members of the public through force, malicious, divisive, and insightful remarks that are contrary to the provisions of section 132 of the Penal Code and section 29 of the Leadership and Integrity Act. Nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President, a member of the Cabinet, and a member of the National Council. His Excellency the Deputy President has publicly attacked and undermined the work of the National Intelligence Service and its officers. Number 10, gross misconduct by openly or publicly insubordinating the president, who is the head of state and government. And number 11, the last ground, gross misconduct by persistently bullying state officers and public officers. Mr. Speaker, the motion is supported by a total of 291 members and is, is contained in the order paper.